thank you very much. I really, first, I want to say how happy I am being again here in the Knights Hall. And second, I want to say how privileged I am that I'm, I can listen to all of you, to all of you young people. I'm a uh, generation of your parents, and I'm really happy to listen to you, to your ideas, to your, to your uh, energy. Uh, and uh, sorry for this, that I'm squeezed in between of your presentations, but, uh, but uh, you know, I was, because of my longer meeting in Brussels, and S State Secretary Mona said before, uh, apologizing for, for on my behalf, and also some traffic, so sorry for this, but I, I wanted to be with you, and I, I am here, this is a second edition, and first I want to say that, of course, everything what I, I, I've heard, what we've been listening to, uh, is responding to the challenges, nowadays challenges that we are facing globally and in Europe. Of course, from my personal perspective, because I cannot say, I cannot judge now which idea and which innovation is uh, better or worse. I'm, you know, I'm, uh, I'm uh, when, when my kids are older than me now, I'm dog mom and my, I'm animal mom. So I was the most impressed by animal things. But of course, all of them are equally important. And I'm really happy that you have so many uh, brilliant ideas responding to the challenges. What I always keep repeating is that those challenges that we are facing in Europe and in the world, be it uh, environment, uh, nature, um, uh, demography, health, all those challenges, must, we must treat them as the, as, the, as the opportunities. And you are doing just this. We are trying also to do the same, uh, same as the national governments, as the European Commission, like European government. We are trying to do the same. We are trying to pre prepare and to build the proper environment for you to evolve, to scale up, which is the most important nowadays in Europe. Maybe you know that we uh, started to, we, we are working in the European Commission on startups and scale up initiative. Again, I, I, I said it many times, but in Europe it's much more important, much more, it's more important to uh, help companies that want to grow, that want to scale up, even than those uh, who, who are starting, which are starting the, the activities. Because we have, as we see here in the room, we have a lot, thousands, hundreds of thousands of Europe, young pe pe people with the wonderful ideas with the wonderful ideas for the future business. But as they are starting to scale up, our role is, is becoming extremely important, our as a, as a government, and I want uh, at, this time, at this moment to thank really uh, uh, Dutch government, because ne the Netherlands is play playing a re very strong role in many of these area areas I mentioned, environment, uh, energy, health, demography, um, we at the European level, we are also trying to do our, our work the best possible way. So let me just mention a few things. Maybe you don't know this because I'm always, uh, that's why those meetings are so important because we can mingle with normal people. You know, for me, I was, I was civil servant, for, I've been civil servant for many years, starting from the very low position. And for me, it was always important, although I have never chaired my own, I have never had my own business. But it was extremely important for me really to understand what's going on on the ground, not to you know, know that I'm a civil servant, so I know the best everything. So that's why those occasions are so important. So uh, let me just mention two things. First, um, uh, at the European level, maybe a little bit um, uh, interesting for you, and maybe you have not heard, them, heard about this before. Uh, so we are working on, on facilitating access for the small companies, small and medium sized, but it's even more important for smaller ones. Uh, to, to access the public part, the procurement ma market. This is a huge market in Europe. This is a huge public money that are going through public procurement process. Uh, and I know, because I've been working you know, in real reality with this for many years, that we can use them in a very good way. In a, we, we call it in a strategic, we, that we, we, we are using, we try to use it in a strategic way, including specifically green, social, innovative public procurement, and also much more open market um, of PP for, for smaller companies. Um, we also uh, prepared in the European Commission the um, uh, new rules uh, to give the entrepreneurs in Europe a second chance in case of failure. I think it was also very important. Two years ago and three years ago we were thinking about this, but also I heard from the, from the companies that in Europe, uh, in European Union, it's much more difficult when you, when you fail. Uh, it, it means everybody sees you as a loser. You are not a loser, you just tried. This time 
you, you didn't manage, but maybe next time you will be successful. And the legislation framework for the second chance uh, companies was really very difficult in Europe, so we are trying to change it. Uh, and we are also working because, of course, everybody was talking, not everybody, but um, of course we understand that uh, um, most of those ideas needs funds and needs funding and needs money. So we are uh, working on, uh, just two weeks ago, we, we set up um, uh, Venture EU, so European, EU, uh, European Venture Capital Fund of Funds, completely new instruments for small companies, for startups. And we will also um, propose in next month to come another instrument, financial instruments for the, for the companies, which will be called Escala, very compat comparable to, to instruments that are existing in the, uh, in the US. And this is not only to finance the start of the companies, the, just the first phase, but also to um, finance the, the expansion and, and their growth in the future. So, uh, that's why we need you. We need such, such events like this one, like Ideas for Europe. Uh, as, as, as it was uh, said, I was here for the, during the, for the first edition two years ago in 2016. Uh, and after this, I maybe because I met a few of you that, that, that really um, uh, I met two years ago, um, I, then I was able to meet you, entrepreneurs, to hear uh, your views. Um, and... Uh, then I thought that it must not be one of exercise. So I asked my colleagues from the, from the services to, uh, to turn this into a really regular initiative, and here it is. And as I also heard, it's really developing. It's much more professional, although it was professional. Uh, where is that? Yeah, although it was professional even two years ago. But, so uh, we have uh, many superior examples of the, of the companies from, the, from, uh, from uh, this time, uh, 2016. Uh, and how your ideas support different areas of our so societal life and societal environment. Um, I was really very much moved and very much interesting but, but what I've heard today, but I think that the most important thing is really that you continue to grow, that you continue to expand, that you really uh, do not struggle in the European single market to, to really to, to to have the success. So I'm happy um, also to see that the winning entrepreneurs continue to operate really successfully. Um, so let me conclude, concluding, let me uh, wish all of you, all of the entrepreneurs, but also we have here public administration, so Minister of Agriculture, uh, big companies from the, from the construction sector. Uh, let me wish all entrepreneurs, uh, be they on this stage or not, uh, really best of luck. This is the most important. Let me also thank my Dutch colleagues uh, for the constant support. Uh, and really, I, we feel it in the European Commission. I hope you feel it too, that we are supporting you. So it's a mutual benefit. Um, and of course, the whole SME in Voy family for their support in making this initiative such a success. Uh, and especially Peter Vazdorf, Vazdorp. What's your name? For Okay, sorry, as you know, Bienkowska is also not easy for the foreigners, so I got used to it. <laughs> so thank you very much, and, and of course, the all SME envoy and, and uh, team uh, for being really the driving force behind, behind today's event. Thank you very much, and thank you that you give us such a hope for the future of EU. Thank you very much.